Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another day in the life of our good friend Wes here in Project Zomboid. Got a couple things to talk about in this episode, hence why I'm starting off a little early before I do the, uh, the daily exercises. Uh, so, to start things off, I guess I'll get the uh, vigor news out of the way for this, is that... Uh, I'm probably going to... Well, no, I, not not probably. This is going to be the last episode of our series with our friend Wes here. Um, frankly, I think the series has run its course, seeing as there's no real objective other than just checking out a map mod, which, you know, has been interesting, certainly. But there's no real objectives that I can come up with at this point for this character to accomplish other than just surviving. And frankly, there's not a whole lot to do here. So... I've decided this is probably going to be the last episode. Now, uh, I'm not going to just end it randomly. I'm going to let Wes go out with a bang, but that's going to be for later in the video, so don't worry about that for right now. Um, yeah, so to... You know, as an extension of that, uh, my any more series that I do from here on out, which I've got some ideas in mind, are going to be... Uh, a bit more focused, I think, from here on out. No more of this just generic sort of let's survive and maybe I'll like, you know, check out this new thing sort of thing. Um, I'm gonna try and come up with objectives for the characters that I make from here on out just to give like the uh... Oh, that's neat. I wasn't expecting that. Um, just to give the character some some sort of like agency and goals in what they're doing. Um, I'm also probably going to I've got some ideas in mind for another game to play as well for the channel, um, other than just Zomboid, so there, there's a little bit of variety. Um, yeah, so that that's that's just some things that have been on my mind uh, in, you know, this sort of, you know, in, in what what am I going to do with Wes now that we're, we're here, we've got everything set up and all this, and we've got this solar project winding down. It's like, what am I going to do? Well, there's not really much I can do, so... I'm gonna make sure everything's uh, sorted out here, and then we're going to uh, we're gonna let Wes go out in a blaze of glory. So there's our exercise done. Let's well, let me grab our bag first off. Um, okay, so we're gonna head down and uh, well, let's take a look at what's going on out here. Uh, if I remember correctly, this is all good. Yeah. And we've got the, uh, the solar system, which is working. Um, unfortunately, not up to the levels that we would require, but there's also no real need for it to. So it's cool that I now know how that all works, and it's, you know, very intuitive. So I'm glad I actually understand how the solar mod works now for the first time, even though I've had it in every single mod pack for the past... Um, couple years now. <laughs> I mean, I I've played a lot of uh, Zomboid with that mod in uh, in my mod packs, but I've never used it, so neat that I now know how it works. Um, Alright, so with all that out of the way, let's let Wes get a little bit of rest here. Just to get rid of his uh, fatigue malices. And we're going to... Um, we're going to get a couple of things done here real quick. Alright, so. Now that we're nice and fed and uh, rested, let's take a look around the base here. Take a, uh, a quick look over this place one last time. We're still hungry? Oh, we are still hungry. We're, like, packed up on calories, though. Because I keep eating, like, super caloric stuff. Eh, it's no big deal. Don't need to really worry about the long-term ramifications now because, uh, you know, ain't gonna be a long-term for very long. This is a nice base. I enjoy this place. Um, it's got a really strong setup, especially once the walls are up. And, you know, if I was doing this in, like, a longer-term setting where I was, like, I had some sort of longer goal or if I was playing a multiplayer, then, like, you know, upgrading these walls and setting up, like, uh, layered defenses and stuff like that would be really neat. For this place. Never got to use the uh, 
the frankly amazing vehicle that we got early on in this series too much, unfortunately, and that just has to do with my machine and Darker Dam and the frame rate when, uh, when driving around in this place. Kind of unfortunate. Wish I would have gotten to spend more time with this thing, because this is a very nice car. Military truck thing, etc. Just taking a quick look through here, because I want to do... take some stuff out. I think it's Bill Hook Machete. Uh, and we'll take the ammo and the mags and stuff. And the Smith & Wesson. All the gun stuff. Yes, I can imagine it's heavy. Alright, uh, let's put the truck away, because we're not going to be going anywhere. I believe that at the end of the last episode, I was going to, like, take this truck out and, uh, search for batteries and stuff like that, but that is no longer the plan. So we're just going to park the truck back up in the garage where it's sat for this whole playthrough, unfortunately, but, you know. So, one of the other things that, uh... Uh, maybe I should turn the truck off before I do this. Uh, one of the other things I wanted to talk about, um, which is kind of part of the the reason why I'm doing like ending this series, uh, is the um, the recent uh, blog posts by the devs for Zomboid um, pretty much confirmed that the the next build isn't going to be coming out. Uh, anytime soon. It's probably going to be another few months away. Um, if I had to guess, we're probably not going to see it until, like, at this point, nearly the end of the year, probably. Um, on the good side of it, the devs uh, pointed out that they realized they were sort of in creature uh, uh, feature creep territory. Creature feep? <laughs> uh, feature creep territory. They realized that uh, they kept trying to, like, add more and make things like you know add complexity and you know do uh do more and more ambitious things but that it was like really delaying them actually getting the build out so good on them for for realizing finally that uh that they were feature creeping themselves and that uh this is no good you know need to need to be aware of that in game development and it's a good thing that they uh they finally realized it cuz you know, all the all the stuff that they've already showed that's coming in the next build is already exciting enough, but then they're like, you know, oh, we're completely redoing the entire, like, crafting system and all this shit, and it's just like, how about, how about we, uh, how about we get, like, the, the stuff you guys <laughs> already got done, and then, uh, you can work on that shit later, how about that? So, thankfully, that seems to be the case, they're, uh, they've got to do some polishing before it goes on to the, uh, I'll back up my save version, but, like... Still, I'm I'm more optimistic now that we're actually going to see um that we're actually going to see the uh the upcoming build in a somewhat more reasonable time frame than uh <laughs> than before, so that's good. I don't remember what else they, uh, pardon me for a moment. Just look at, I'm just gonna look at the thing again to see what they were talking about. Um. Oh yeah, they revealed that, like, they're completely redoing, like, some locations and stuff, and the, the level of detail is, like, kind of crazy. Um. So one of the, one of the big things about the next build is that, uh, large like, uh, walls, like, pre-made structure walls, like these. Um, I'm not sure about these, because these are modded, but, like, the, the, the large fences and stuff like that, in the base game Zomboid, like, right now, um, completely indestructible, zombies can't do shit, uh, they, they literally just go around them if they can, and if they can't, then they just won't do anything, because they can't do anything, they can't break them, they can't attack them, even, so, that's why a lot of the best bases in this game currently, are, you know, somewhat set up with 
large, you know, walls that spawn in at the start of the game, right? Those tend to be the best base locations in the game. Um, one of the one of the good examples of this is in um, uh, if I could remember the name of the town. Uh, well, either way, it's this place, the town that I can't remember the name of, this fire station. It has a large chain link fence around it for most of it, so you can just literally block off the front, and then zombies can only come from one direction, right? So that, you know, this is a very strong base location. Um, that's not going to be the case in build 42. In the new build, uh, zombies can just break those fucking things down. I mean, it's going to probably be relatively tough for them, it's gonna take some time, but still. That they're not going to be the uh the be all end all of uh of zombie defense anymore. So some of these new uh like I know this has been kind of like a digression from what I was talking about, but some of the I, I definitely recommend looking at some of the new location updates that they're doing. Because some of them are like kind of insane. Like just level of detail and just like how interesting they look. Especially, um, I'm trying to, what, what, what is this? It's a uh, Muldraw Police Station, Muldraw PD. Right now, Muldraw PD is so rinky-dink, it's so tiny. There's, like, nothing there. Um, it's just, like, a little tiny, like, sheriff station, even. It's, it's barely even what you'd call, like, a police department. But the new one looks kind of crazy. It's, like, a full-on, like, police compound. It's got two garages. A large main building, second floor, it's got like a gatehouse, large fences all around it. It looks awesome. So like, that's definitely going to be like a really awesome bit new base location. I mean, of course, the like I said, the, um, the fences mm, don't matter as much in the new build. I won't say they don't matter because that's kind of not true. Because, right, like, it's not like the, the fact that zombies can, are going to be able to break down large fences is going to somehow make them not good, or not the meta, air quotes, if you can even call it that. Because, of course, you know, the existence of pre-made structures, like pre-made fences, are always going to be better than not having them, because it saves you time. Like, the only thing that it, like, technically doesn't do, right, is that, you know, oh, well, you're losing out on XP from, like, building walls there, but, like, I mean, you could just build a second layer of walls. Or just build other things if you need the carpentry XP. Like, you see what I mean? Like, it's just not really a, an argument that makes a lot of sense. So, the, uh... What was I getting at here? Yeah, so the, uh, you know, the any, any structure that's got walls already, like, baked into it is going to be good still, no matter what. And, uh, that is one of the ones I'm really looking at, the Muldraw PD. I mean, I think there's going to be more than just the the ones that they showed. The, the three that they showed were, um, the Muldraw Church, which is now, like, double the size and has a very lovely park and, like, cemetery thing attached to it. Um, the school, the Muldraw School on the main road, which, uh, looks very impressive as well, and it's got, like, a bunch of, like, roof tiles and stuff, which I think you can get out on, because there are windows to it, so that's actually really interesting. Actually, yeah, you probably, you have to be able to get out there, because there's also ladders that go to the upper roof. Oh, there's a, okay, never mind, it's got, like, a, um, uh, it's got an internal staircase that goes up to the top. You can see, like, a little door with a, like, thing. I'll put it up on the screen, so you'll be able to see. Um, so that's going to be an interesting base location, too, because rooftops tend to be really strong. And also very useful for, like, rain collectors and, uh... Um... What's the word? Generators. Because, you know, you can't keep them indoors, really. So, that's pretty exciting. Um... Yeah, that, those two, and then, uh, Muldra PD is the other one that they showed off. All of them look fantastic, honestly. It's, uh, kind of awesome, because it means that Muldra is going to be a, uh... An interesting option for uh, for basing out of again, which I'm always a fan of because I really like Muldraw. It's good. It's you know it's it's a good city. It's really uh, it it's like the default place that you would end up like going to like when you start the game, which could be seen as a negative in that like 
you know, oh, everyone's seen all of Muldraw, but like with the new buildings, I think that's going to add some nice spice to the place. And, uh, you know, I've got a soft spot for Muldraw since it was, of course, the first, like, city that I played in, uh, you know, years back. So, I'm pretty, uh, pretty happy with, uh, with Muldraw getting a new glow up. Let's take a look at what we have over here. What is this? This is, a uh, 44 Desert Eagle. Okay. Take this other shotgun. Okay. Um. I mean, we have to take the... Okay. Um. Yeah, they also show off some, like, lighting improvements and stuff, which is nice. I mean... The, the lighting is a, is a complicated thing, right? Because they're changing, like, the entire way that the viewing system works in the new build, right? So, like, right now, when you're looking, you can see, like, as you turn, there's, like... You can see as, like, the... Down the right there, you can see, like, I'm revealing squares of sight. Because it's, like, it's, it's block-based, the current, like, vision system and stuff like that. Which also ties into the lighting. Um... That's not going to be the case in the next build, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's still confirmed for the next build. Um, it's going to be a more organic system. So, you know, we're not going to have to deal with the... Uh, with those same sort of limitations. Which is neat. But yeah, so like that, you know, ties into the, the lighting, the new lighting updates, which, you know... I'm sure look great, but I have no idea how it's going to really look or feel or play until it actually happens, so, you know, I'm just sort of, okay, I'll enjoy it when it happens, sort of deal, All right? Uh, do we have, oh, 45 ACP? Did I have boxes of that? I have 38 special. Oh, God. Uh, do I have a, I think I have a Ruger that fires 38 somewhere. Yeah, I do. Alright. Uh, where? Okay. Um, let's unpack all these. Let's see, what else did they show off? Oh, yeah, they're doing, like, different, like, uh, light source, like, skins and stuff like that, which is pretty interesting. Oh, I'm over-encumbered. Okay. Um. Well, part of that is due to all this. I don't need this. don't need any of this. Okay. Um. Getting rid of some stuff that I don't need. Okay, so that's actually loaded. I'm just setting up for something here, as is probably pretty pretty evident at this point. Um, shotgun was this? It's on the floor here. Same one that I have in my back. Okay. Um, Alright, so... Let's attach this to my back slot. I know I'm going to be getting rid of the Gerber machete, but that's fine. We're going to just keep those in my bag. Alright, and then... Um, this is a back slot weapon. Do I have... I have a one-handed... Uh, something somewhere. A one-handed thingamajig somewhere, my bob, in this building. There we go. Uh, yes, I have a taiga. Okay. So we will go, uh, belt left, I think that is. Yes. Oh, stop crying about your back, dude. Chill. Get rid of some stuff. I don't need as much food. I don't need a million packs of cigarettes either, even though they don't weigh anything. Uh, don't need a screwdriver. Oh, 
Okay. Um. Right. So, what else did they talk about? Oh yeah, they also talked about um, the papers and stuff like that, because they've got some people working on, like, doing, like, newspaper stuff, like, uh, newspaper reports and stuff like that you can find and read. Which is pretty interesting, because, like, you know, the plot of this game is that, like, when the game starts, it's, like, a localized event sort of thing, right? Like... At the start of, like, when you choose to start the game, like, the infection is going on, like, all around here, but it hasn't really spread outside of Kentucky yet, and it hasn't gotten to Louisville at the start of the game. Like, if you pay attention to, like, the, 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 new, like, the news or the radio broadcast and stuff, you still get stuff out of Louisville for a while until, inevitably, the infection gets inside and then everyone dies there, right? Um... Like, that's, that's part of, like, the organic storytelling that's in the game already currently. It's actually pretty funny, because if you, uh, if you rush your character off to, to Louisville, um, right at, like, the start of the game, before any of that organically happens, the game just sort of, like, shoves its story along to, like, catch up to what you're doing, which is pretty funny. Um, I'm actually gonna unload these now that I think about it. Do I want to use these CAWA shotguns, or do I want to just unload them and then... I think I'm just going to use the other one, because... The magazines are just kind of too much of a pain in the ass. So let's get rid of that. Alright, um... Let's take... This other one out, and we're going to unload that as well. Um, check the magazine. Uh, rack the bolts to get that one shell out. I should have done that with the other one too. I'll have to remember to do that in a second here. Drop. And we will unload all of these 12 gauge shells. And then let's just pick this up real quick so that I can, oh, now I can just rack it on the ground. Or will he just pick it up and then do it, and then... Yeah, okay. Well. Saves me an extra click, I suppose. Alright, so that gives us an additional 13 shells, plus these 25. And then we are going to instead use the Model 870, because it's a little bit easier to use. Yes, it only holds 5 shells in it. Uh, well, 5 plus 1, because of the, uh... The extra one in the chamber, but... Uh, I can reload it like this, whereas I can't do that with the CAWS, so more useful. Okay, so that's that done. Let's unload the 9mm. Alright, so we've got what? We've got 36 shotgun shells plus the 6 in the gun. So, 42. We've got, uh, frankly, an absurd amount of 38 special, so let's... Uh, Take out the, the old Ruger here. So what what are our stats in shooting anyway? Have we used guns at all? I don't remember. I don't think we have. We haven't at all. Oh, that's good. That's going to make this exciting. What is it going to make exciting, you may ask? Oh, well, you'll see. Uh, Alright, and then... What do I want? I guess... Oh, this is a 9mm Smith & Wesson. Okay. Yeah, this works, actually. Um, I just I see Smith and Wesson, and I always I immediately think, oh, it's probably like a 1911. It's got it fires 45, but no, it's a nine millimeter. Okay, that's actually much better because I actually have nine millimeter. Um, just swap it. It's not exactly. Uh, quick on the reload, but that makes sense because he's level zero reloading. I was like, man, that's really, uh, it took a while for a nine millimeter. Okay. Um, and I did that because I wanted to load that extra mag up to full, the one that we had in the gun. Okay, so that's done. Now we've got three guns all loaded up as much as I can, and we've got a half destroyed Taiga as our main weapon, and then we've got some backups. Um, we're at 19 kilos. 
I wish I could get that lower, but like... I kinda can't. It's mostly just coming from like encumbrance of crap that's on us, I think. Let me just take a look at um Yeah, it's it's weapon encumbrance. It's cause like each of the pistols is one, the shotgun's two. Man, I am bored. Well, we'll deal with that in a moment. So actually yeah, we're, we're pretty good here. We don't need these 45, because we don't have anything that fires it, so we can just get rid of the mags for that. Okay, um... Alright, so let's see about getting Wes something to do. We've got some magazines and some newspapers. But yeah, anyway, like I was saying, they, um... They're adding in, like, a whole bunch of, uh... I wanted to sit on the couch. Oh yeah, you can't sit on couches in this direction. Duh. Um... They're adding in a bunch of new, like, um, handmade, like, newspaper designs and stuff like that. Telling, you know, telling more of the, the background story and lore and, like, what's going on and stuff like that. Really interesting. Really well made look, uh, as well, and they look really, really nice. I am very much so looking forward to reading more of those. That's most of it. The only other thing was, like, they're adding in some new, like... E rings and like gimmick containers and stuff like that, which I know some people are excited about, and I'm just sort of like, yeah, okay, that's neat, I guess. Might be interesting for like roleplay perspective, based on the different characters and like their personalities and stuff like that. I'll have to say. Um, what did I have here anyway? Yeah, so I've got like a half destroyed machete, another half destroyed machete. Man, we went through a lot of machetes, and we do have. Oh. Right, this is that weird FN assault rifle. Hold on, I'm gonna actually take this with me. Because it has it uses the 50 round P90 mags, and that's funny. Ah oh, shit. Um I mean there's no way in hell we're gonna use this, right? Not all of this. Wait, fuck it, we're not even gonna Yeah, whatever. Yeah, okay, that seems there's a lot of weight. We're not gonna need that much 38 special. Everything is going to be fine, I'm sure. Um, alright, so we need to, we need to eat. We need to eat something that's not going to, like, obliterate us on calories. Um, so we need, like, low-calorie stuff that we can just fill up on, so let's eat some soup. Because, uh, we're, like, giga-maxed on calories, but we're, like, hungry, so it's not really poignant to eat peanut butter. So let's drink up some canned soup straight from the can. Yummy, yummy. So yeah, anyway. On the topic of ideas for the future, so like I said before in the beginning of the video, I'm going to be trying to like come up with sort of um, ideas about like, you know, I don't want to like give up on the whole like sort of pseudo light role play kind of thing I'm doing. Um, in fact, I'd like to actually strengthen it a little bit, um, comparative to, like, what we're at right now. Um, so I'm not gonna be, like, strictly going for, uh, you know, like, oh, I'm gonna do this challenge, and then just, like, everything is just, like, formulaic, and I'm just sort of, you know, rushing around just doing, like, challenge stuff. I, you know, I, I'm, like I said before, I'm not really the biggest on that sort of thing per se although it's definitely going to lean more into that because you know i need some sort of goal um so that's sort of like kind of what my like base idea is of uh of what's gonna go on here is like it's gonna be kind of more challenge oriented but um not like completely i'm gonna still try and keep like the character in mind, right? But, yeah, like I said, I'm going to try and have, like, a, a sort of end goal for a series set out from the start, so I don't end up in this kind of situation again, like, in this one, where I'm just sort of, like, the the last, like, maybe five episodes, basically ever since we finished The Wall, was just sort of like, okay, but now what? And it's like, even though I'm only putting out one of these episodes every week, it's just like, I found myself being like, 
coming up on like the day or like a day or so where I have time to record and being like, what the hell am I gonna do? And that happened like multiple, like pretty much every episode for the past like five, I think, has been been kind of like that. And it's just like even after like the solar project, that like as soon as I started doing that, I was like, well, this buys me some time, but like, what does this accomplish exactly? You know, so trying to keep that in the mind in mind for the future. I've had sort of like a concept of like a sorta of challenge kind of series. Um for a while. I think I talked about it before. Um like not like completely talked about like exactly what it, what I'm gonna do, but like in terms of like, you know, oh I've got, you know, ideas, blah blah blah. I think I I was like vaguely like hinting at it before. But uh same sort, of, same idea as I had uh, a while back, but I'm gonna be trying to implement that as uh, the next series, and it'll probably start next week. Um, same, you know, same time and date, probably. No guarantees on that because I've got a lot to do to actually like get that set up, and I've got other projects that I'm working on for other channels that I do. So, um, and th those take a lot of time. So, we'll see what ends up happening. I have a vegetable and beer soup still, apparently. Huh. Well, we'll have that uh, at some point. But yeah, so I've got ideas in mind. Hopefully it will start next week. We'll see. Um, I'll make a I'll make a post about it if it doesn't. If it does just start next week, I probably won't make a post. Maybe I will. I don't know. Well, nah. So I need to stop waffling on things. Something's going to happen. It might be next week. It might be the week after. Something somewhere. Hope people will be there for it. I sure as hell will. <laughs> Alright. Um... Just taking one last quick look through here, seeing if there's anything... Um... That site is kind of funny, but it's also, like, giga-heavy. Um, did we ever... No. Our clothing actually looks fine. That's surprising. Wes has been a pretty lucky character, honestly. I think that we've only gotten, like, kind of grappled once. And we, like, didn't lose anything for it. We just, like, shoved... Oh, no, I remember. Yeah, we did get... We got, um, scratched once. Or lacerated, maybe? It was when we were, um, up here. I think, like, right here, actually. In the apartment block. It was either, like, here or here or here or something like that. It was uh, one of those apartment buildings, maybe it was this one, where we got like locked in there and then like I got grappled like going through a door or something like that. It was like super awful. That's why I haven't gone back to those damn apartment blocks since then, or well, except for that like one time where I sort of tried to and then it was like also miserable. Yeah. Really hate, uh, hate apartment buildings in this game, not great. Okay, well, it's uh, getting on nighttime, so we're gonna end this day, and then we'll uh, we'll see what tomorrow brings for old Wes here. Or well, I said that, but uh, maybe I was lying. Uh, we're back here with uh, with Wes here at uh, uh, what <laughs> fucking thirty past midnight, and uh, there happens to be a new icon on the screen. Um. And then I just fell and hurt myself. But, you know, let's ignore that. Um, right, let's go outside and uh, take a look at what is going on. Wes is kind of sad. He's probably going to be even more sad soon. Well, I don't hear anything. The spooky mark is certainly spooky and also there. Uh, let's head back inside for a minute and... Uh...
eat some comfort soup so that I can uh, try and heal up from that injury that I gave myself because I'm a genius. Um, let's head back upstairs and see if anything's going on up there. See if I can see anything. I don't see anything going on. I see anything out this window? Not really. Sort of the awkward thing about this place is that I never really set up any kind of like um, parapets or like walkways so that I can actually see, you know, without uh, horribly maiming myself by walking off of like uh, platforms <laughs> like I just did earlier. Well, there's something that's supposed to be happening right now, but it doesn't seem to be. At least as far as I can tell. Let's go take another look outside and maybe I'll uh, take a look outside the wall even. Tell you what really would have been uh, a smart idea is to set up some floodlights. I can't see shh. Arm. Anyway, like I was saying, I can't see shit out here. I should go to bed soon. Bruh, I don't know if we... Maybe this means that it's gonna happen tonight and not, like, right now? Let's assume that's what that means. Um, anyway, so to dispel the, uh, the half-assed illusion, um, I've installed the Horde Knight mod, which is, uh, what's gonna give Wes his, uh, his grand finale here, but unfortunately, I don't know how the hell it works, because I've never used it before, so, uh, my assumption was when this showed up when I was just sort of AFKing with Wes that, uh, shit was gonna go down immediately. I think actually what this means is that tonight, like, this coming night is when it's gonna happen, so I'm gonna have Wes go to bed. And, uh, we'll see if we're swarming with zombies in the morning or not. <laughs> Alright. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. Uh, as you can see, we have a, uh, a lovely marker over here that definitely means something fun is gonna happen. So, I've decided in, um, sort of last-minute kind of way that I'm going to very quickly grab some planks and try and build something... Uh, something useful, hopefully. Uh, I'm trying to think of how I want to do this. So, like, I really need something that I can use to see over those walls. I really wish I could just, like, build out of these windows, but I guess I could... Okay, I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. Um, we're skipping the, uh, exercises for today. Um, I know how awful of me giving, uh, Wes a cheat day. How, how terrible. But uh, I don't think it's going to be very relevant, so I'm going to just not bother with getting the uh, penalties. So, we're going to uh, break this fucking wall down. <laughs> okay, and then, um, of course, I don't have any of the nails, because I left them somewhere. Where did I put those nails? Um... I dropped them all... Actually, I think I dropped them in this room over here, probably. I dumped stuff all over the fucking place yesterday, so... I know where that all is. Okay. Um... There we go. There's the nails. I will have to drop those, because it is putting me over to level 2 encumbrance, which I do not want to deal with. Okay. So, let's do some 4. Because, of course, this stuff doesn't exist. These aren't real floors, so... I have to underpin it. Unfortunately, I don't think we have any other wooden planks other than those. I'd really like to... 
expand this out. Um, what happened to my saw? What did I do with that? I must have thrown it on the ground because... Or no, I think the saw is in the garage because I stopped doing carpentry shit a while ago. I think that's the case. Well, anyway, so um, as is evident from the uh, the marker here, we're going to have some fun tonight. And uh, I'm trying to quickly get some stuff put together in the meantime. Um, mainly this upper landing area because, well, if I were trying to really win this, I could just, you know, use this and stay upstairs and just shoot a lot. But uh, I'm not going to only do that, but I do want to be able to see over my walls, which currently I can't do, so, um, and so I'm doing this. Oh, we have planks down here! I'm a fool! I guess there was leftovers from when I made the, the wall. I guess I left them here because I was gonna make, like, a, a parapet on the wall, um, at some point, and then I never did that, so, yeah. It's fine. Don't need it. We will just defend from the home. In general, the uh, the defenses of this place are lackluster because, like, I didn't even I didn't set up like metal uh, coverings for the windows, like at all. I did the one window that got broken into by zombies, um, and that was it. A bit uh, a bit sloppy of me, a bit lazy, but you know. Considering our uh, outer defenses and the uh, general lack of zombies in the area, because you know. Blade weapons, haha, I kill everything in one hit, and I've just been obliterating zombies left and right. Not to mention this this building being at such, like, a prime location, being right next to this river that's, like, such a great barrier, right? Because, like, zombies functionally on this side can't get over here, especially, like, the giant horde that's been stuck right here. Like, they can't do shit. They'd have to path all the way over here, up, and then over, or all the way down here, over, and then up through this bridge. Like, that's not gonna happen. So... Any of the zombies, like, on this side are just functionally non-issue. And then, of the ones over here, I've been culling them so frequently, like, yeah, there's a couple in these houses here, but, like, none of them are really a threat. And, like, everything over here is dead. I've killed so many zombies in this area. It's just, like, the, the, the closest, like, actual population of zombies that are, like, real are, like, over here-ish. There's a couple, I think. Like, five or six, and then, like, there's probably a horde-ish over here, but, like, they're so far away, it's, like, kind of irrelevant. What I'm saying is, the space location is actually insane. Like, insanely good. I didn't really, uh, completely realize that at the time when I, uh, when I made this place, but, like, West chose well. <laughs> this is a great place to, to defend from. Alright, so we've got these two and these two. Let's extend this out one more set. One nice thing about doing um, the roof setup like this is because of the, um, you know, the, 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 the roofing that doesn't actually do anything. It still, like, looks reasonable that I'm actually standing out here because these are underneath the, uh, the decorative stuff. So that's good. That way I can, uh, I can see over the walls, but also, uh, it doesn't look like trash. So that's good. Because I do care about aesthetics, marginally. Alright, so... What's that? No, we still got a little bit more. The, this is kind of silly, me being, like, inside of this thing, but it's, you know... It's not actually attached to the building, it's... It's an optical illusion. This is actually, like, placed, like, in front of it, sort of. Because of the way that, like, things work in this game. That's why it looks like it's where it is, but it's really not. That's why I can just, like, walk behind it. And even if I, like, walk all the way out here, you see I'm still behind it. It's because it's, like, actually on this tile right here. Sort of. But anyway. Alright, so now, um, let's take a look. We can see over both of the walls to an extent. Um... And then there's the, uh, uh, the backyard. I don't really know what I'm going to do about this. Um, 
Maybe I just do something like this. I mean, I should have done this in like ages ago to make this safer because I had the amount of times. I'm pretty sure I cut out some of the times that I've fallen off this thing too. I fell off this fucking this platform up here so many times. It's ridiculous. Very unsafe. OSHA would not approve. Frankly, I don't approve. But I'm my laziness beat out my uh my desire for safety. So instead we have, you know, that monstrosity. So anyway, this is all safe to walk on now, I think. Yep, all the way up to here. I think this is also safe right here. This one. I think I did that one. I don't remember. Either way. Um, mostly just going to be using this section right here. So this is nice. We've got this, and then we've got, you know, four ways down, I think, or something like that. So I think that's about it for setup. I think, uh, I think we're going to, uh, let Wes enjoy his day, and then we'll, uh, we'll catch up with him come nighttime. How's that sound, everyone? Sounds like a great idea to me. Well, uh, we're back. It's uh, 10 p.m. and a uh, spooky noise just happened, so one has to assume that uh, something's going to happen now. Oh. So it seems something is indeed happening. There is a single guy on his way. Uh, hopefully there's more than just a single dude, because uh, I was kind of expecting a little more out of this. So. The issue with uh, with including the uh, the old Horde Knight mod here is, um, well, a couple of things fold. Uh, for one, is again this location is too damn good, so some of them spawned on the other side of the river and they're not actually pathing correctly. Um, the other aspect of it is that I couldn't configure it because uh, this is an ongoing playthrough, so I couldn't access the mod settings menu. So let's go outside and say hello to our new friends and see if we can't. Um, get something going, you know. Because at this rate, I'm going to have to wait for a single zombie to batter down my wall, and that's just not something that I want to do. Are you actually at the door, or are you on the wall? No, you're just on the wall somewhere. Oh, hello. Alright, everyone, let's go. Oh, yeah, okay, we got some, we got some coming. They're, uh... Oh, wow. More than I thought, honestly. Alright. Over here. Over here. Let's fucking get it going, boys. Oh, yeah, they spawned all the way back here, too. They're, like, messing up my other wall. Alright. Gotta remember this is pump action. Oh boy. That was a dangerous uh, path to go right away. Okay, I gotta deal with this panic because I should have taken these beta blockers actually before this started, but I wasn't expecting there to be this many out here. Oh wow. This is a lot of zombies at night. I'm not used to actually fighting at night. I don't do this very often. Okay, well, the beta blockers are on, and our anxiety has gone down a bit. Our panic has gone down quite a bit. One thing I forgot to do is I didn't, uh... I didn't put on armor. <laughs> I, I'm just kind of, like, no sleeve in it here, still. This is... Whoa! Hell of a group. Zombies coming through the walls. Santa Claus! Santa, no. Oh, wow. This is more difficult than I would have thought. Um, since I can't actually... they broken my door down already? Did they come through from the other side? Oh, God. Maybe I should have stayed inside. Holy shit! 
Um, oh, God, there's so many. Okay. Um, we're going to go over this way around and uh, back inside, I think, because this is getting hairy. Unless there's, like, a ton of zombies all over my walls, which might be the case. Uh, there's only a couple. Wait, are they inside? Wait, they're inside already. I can hear them banging from the other side. Oh, God. They broke through the other side. Uh... Oh, my God. Okay. Well. How the hell are you in here? Oh, my God. Okay, we're going upstairs. They're all over the house already. Holy shit. Okay, so, uh, this just in. Don't underestimate Horde Knight. Holy. Run out of the fall, because I've fallen fucked. This is nuts. What? Oh, there's some zombies down there. I was gonna say, there's no way they're up here. They can't be up here. It's not possible. God. It just shows how bad my character is at aiming. Makes sense, but... Yeah, they ripped straight through the, the top wall there and just, like... We're all over here. I wasn't expecting them to get in so fast. I mean, of course, I wasn't expecting there to be this many of them either, so. My poor base. I'll draw some more zombies. Come on over. The, the thing that surprised me the most, though, was the one that was inside the garage. I guess, since they broke in here, they went, like, through here, and they were already in the house, and then, because I left the door open, one just walked into here, because they were, like, pathing towards me. I assume that the mod, uh, for Horde Knight, um, just has the path directly at the player, which would be the way, I mean, that's the way I would do it. It makes the most sense, right? So that's probably what they, they, they've they done here, is uh, just have the zombies just path at me. And that's why they were just, like, there was one inside the garage waiting for me. They're getting better at shooting. That's good. Aiming, specifically. Let's go take a look at what uh, the backyard looks like. How about it? Surprisingly, not bad. Oh, there, I mean, there's zombies under me. Oh, wow, they're all in that bedroom down there. I don't know if I can shoot down into it because the roof doesn't exist. get yourselves off of my property. My poor fence. That fence took so long to build. Ah. Man, it's not like I didn't expect this to happen. And, you know, in fact, I hoped that it would happen, but still. Shit, holy god damn. Alright, that's enough of this. 
I'm tired of these dang zombies messing up my house. Let's show them what Wes is capable of. Uh, assuming I can get downstairs without getting obliterated, which uh, hopefully is the case. I have no idea. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Bring it on, fuckers. This is Wes's dream come true. The culmination of everything he's lived for. God, not being able to see is really rough. How dare you ruin my home! Oh my god, there's so many inside. Get out of my garage! Cards. Or as Wes says, uh, shit ouch. Get out of there! Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Wes survived for one month, ten days, and seventeen hours. I didn't even realize it was that long. We killed 1,251 zombies, including probably like a hundred there at the end. And, uh, it ended basically the way I was expecting it to. I wasn't necessarily gunning to get Wes killed there, but, uh, I certainly was playing a bit more aggressively than I usually would. Uh, especially with the nearly broken weapon, but I wanted to, you know, Send Wes out in a good way. If I could have killed everything, I would have, but, uh, I wasn't, I, frankly, I was not expecting that many to be in the kitchen and in the back room there. Uh, once I got out of the garage, I was expecting there to be, like, maybe five or ten zombies in there. Not, like, a couple hundred, so. <laughs> but that's the way that, uh, that it ends up. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this series. I did enjoy playing it, even though if I was a bit uh, lost in the end. I really did enjoy, um, exploring... Uh, Darker Dam for the first time. It's actually the first map mod that I've ever, like, really explored. It's not the first one I've installed, but it's the first one I've ever gotten to, like, work correctly and, like, spent time looking through. I hope you all have enjoyed, and I, uh, I definitely recommend this, uh, this mod. It's, uh, it has some problems with frame rate, but I think that's mostly tied to me recording on the same machine and also, like, just the size of it. And again, it's only with vehicles, so, you know. Mileage may vary on that, but all in all, very good mod, fun playthrough. I hope you'll all join me for the next one. It's going to be a little bit different to this. Uh, we'll see exactly how it goes, but I've got some fun things in store. I hope I'll see you then.